Congress jumping in on President Trump's claim that the Obama administration tapped his phones during the 2016 election. They say the whole thing is made up. Indeed, top Democrat Chuck Schumer is actually accusing the president of spreading rumors and false information. Here he is on Meet the Press just yesterday. Watch. Either way, uh, Chuck, the president's in trouble if he falsely spread this kind of misinformation. That is so wrong, it's, it's beneath the dignity of the presidency. On the other hand, if it's true, it's even worse for the president because that means that a federal judge independently elected has found probable cause that the president or people on his staff have had probable cause to have broken the law or to have interacted with a foreign agent. Sorry, I mean, if it's not true, uh, then uh, and, and no wiretap was actually issued, then what were they looking at in the first place? Just a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors leaked to the media as we were just talking about with Fred and Buck. Joining me right now with their thoughts, Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall along with American Majority CEO Ned Ryan. Good to see both you guys. Ned, I'll start Thanks, with Chris. you. Um, you know, look, the, 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 the politicians are going to seize on this. It is highly confusing. Where do you think your average American comes out on all of it, uh, given what they've had to digest this weekend? Well, I mean, for, first of all, they, they, I think they're still kind of trying to digest what is actually going on here and trying to understand what are we talking about with a FISA warrant? How does that all work? I mean, the thing that's interesting, Trish, is to see the reaction of Obama's Josh Ernest, his former spokesperson, and to see uh, Kevin Jackson, see all these other people talking in the basically the Orwellian doublespeak and to see the New York Times quoting and saying, well, the target of these you know, investigations and warrants were Manafort and Roger Stone and others. And then all of a sudden they're saying, well, wait, no, maybe there wasn't a warrant. And I think the thing that's interesting. That's that what's confusing, right? Because the original wait, wait. reporting suggested there was a warrant. And, and they were exactly. talking about, you know, multiple times that they had gone but, at least but, twice but, to but get this warrant. Deal. Finish your thought. Right. So the, that's right. It looks like they requested it twice. The first one was rejected. Second one, it looks like, appears at least that it was accepted. Well, here's the thing. FISA warrants have to be signed off and certified by the FBI director and the attorney general or the deputy attorney general. I'm telling you, if it got to that point, the White House counsel, the attorney general would never have signed off on something unless the White House counsel had given permission. If this is true, and we're, we're going to find out if this is true or not, this did go to the White House. Obama had to have been aware, and I think ultimately at the end of the day, if it turns out there was a warrant and it was approved and at least signed off by White House counsel, the question then becomes, what did Obama know and when did he know it? And that's, right. that's where we could, it could become very interesting. Leslie, your reaction to this story? Well, first of all, what we are saying, what we are alleging, and if you look at the tweet from our current president, he is specifically accusing our former president, Barack Obama, of this, of wiretapping him and Trump Tower. What we do know to be fact is that there are Trump individuals, there are aides that worked with Trump, where there were questionable uh, connections uh, regarding Ukraine and Russia. That is, that is a fact. Do we know that this for a fact, or we just Trump know Tower. that Manafort had done some consulting no work evidence. in Ukraine? I mean, we, yeah, when you say we a know fact, for, what specifically we know for are you fact. talking about? This is all insinuation. We are specifically talking, I am specifically talking about the requested FISA warrants that were being sought and why they were being sought. Right now, what we're looking at is a president who has the authority to declassify information. We, we don't know why they were being sought that he is not lying. No, Leslie, and Leslie, what, let me just jump are, in. Guys, I mean, this is, this is what is at the heart of the issue, right? We don't know why it is that they needed to get these warrants. We don't know the specifics around it in the first place. And we know that Paul Manafort did some consulting work in the Ukraine, and then we heard a bunch of hearsay reported in the media, a lot of speculation. If you've got something specific, Leslie, I want to know about it. What is it? What we have specifically is the is we have Clapper, we have Comey, and the president, oh. the former president of the United States, Clapper, saying this is really? not true. So it comes it comes down to this: either one man, our current president, is lying, or those former those three mention, names I just mentioned are lying. That is the okay. truth. And the so president, Leslie, of the United you're saying States, that they had some power things. to declassify this information. Hang on, this hang on, Ned, I, I'm going to go to you in a what second. Saying is true. So, so what Leslie though just told us is that somehow they have got information which led them to go and request the FISA warrant in, in the first place. Now, we just heard from Fred and Buck, who said they really find that doubtful, and their concern is all they had mm -hmm. was a whole bunch of political rumors designed to try and take down Donald Trump, and that's why they were out there seeking Finley this quote. warrant. And if that's the case, Ned, then that's a real problem. 
So here are a couple things that I find interesting, Trish. This is October, if this did actually take place, and it appears that it did, October of 2016, and they're saying that Manafort and Stone are part of the targets. Manafort wasn't even with the campaign. Roger Stone hadn't been with the campaign for over a year. Interesting timing that you're coming into the last few weeks of an election, yeah, and you point. decide that this is the right time. The yeah. other thing, though, that I would I say about Clapper, really quick, why on earth would we believe Clapper, who lied, I believe, lied to a Senate committee yeah. about four years ago, right, saying you know, that Buck NSA was, just telling me the same thing was camera. not collecting I, data on American citizens? I, I, hard, I find that hard to believe. I got to leave it there. We're up against a hard break. Thanks so much, guys. We're going to be right back.